Hi, and welcome to this first edition of Gorilla on a Dime. In this first episode, I thought I'd go ahead and, oh, step into the core element of a lot of my ideas, which is, pardon the pun, Coroplast. That's right, Coroplast is something I ran into while not really even looking for it. I was actually looking for housing to match the type of housings that the Diva Lights, which I fell in love with on a shoot, because they're small, the punch is awesome, and they run very cool because they're fluorescents. Um, and because before, for those of you that weren't there, before we had fluorescents and now LED light technology, we had big heavy lights like this that were expensive, heavy, and very, very hot. Fluorescence, and then now LED technology has taken care of all that. Of course, it hasn't helped anything with the sound of our live studio environment. But anyway, Coroplast gave me the ability to recreate the Kino lights in a not quite as compact, but will be soon version. A nice light housing that could be held Hollywooded per se or put up in a nice environment and used correctly. Um, then I started realizing when I got this because it comes in a 4x8 sheet uh, and by the way they're very easy to find uh, you just gotta go to a sign manufacturing place, place that sells places and signs stuff um, and it comes in 4x8 sheets or 4x4 sheets. You can use them as shiny boards, you can use them as flags or negative light, even down to cookies, kookalorises, even in fingers and dots. So, which by the way, a fingers and dots kit will cost you a couple hundred bucks easy. Um, I even found out a way to make a compact fluorescent that instead of dimmable was just switchable and yes kookalorises fall in the wind that if you can tell by all the different types of bulbs in there that I have a five light here that when you switch it on and off it gives you a brighter or dimmer light. As down to even the holders for the fluorescent tubes themselves. Coroplast. It's a wonderful thing. Multiple purpose, multiple use. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it helped you a little bit. Hope we had some fun. Comment, send me your emails. Maybe we'll take a venture or two and build a couple of these lights or go through some of this shiny board stuff. But while here, please subscribe. Have a great day and a better tomorrow.